Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to what is life really like in the USA from a channel that I've never seen before, but I feel like this could be an interesting video and I guess we're just going to check this out now. Links also in the description to my Patreon where you can see reactions that I can't post to YouTube. Um, and yeah, let's check this out and see what life is really like in the US. Hey there, we're Rhett and Claire, full-time travellers from South Africa. We've just spent three amazing days. Full-time travellers. If you could make that a job, I mean, some people do full time travelers. That would be, that would be something special. Is exploring New York City, but now it's time to head to Boston to visit our South African family and to show you what suburban living is like in America. Here we go. In Boston. This is Monihan Train Hall. We just had a pretty stressful run from Brooklyn uh, on the underground all the way to here. Wow. We got on our train in Brooklyn with like 30 seconds to spare and we are now here with 20 minutes to spare. Fortunately, we had a scare in Vietnam where we missed the train so I wasn't letting that happen again. But yeah, it's beautiful here. Time to head to Boston. Four hour train ride ahead of us. <laughs> I love asking questions, I ask anyone. And apparently we're in the right place, so that's good. But it's a super nice train, hey? Yes, the chairs are massive, it's very comfortable. And it was $58 for both of us, which I think is really <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, for a four hour ride, it's like 800 grand, 400 each. Much cheaper than the UK, that's for sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Starbucks coffee, some McDonald's McMuffins, salad, sandwiches, beverages, chips, snacks, and there's a whole diner section where you can sit and relax and eat. We got a whole little, like dining section. That's that's not what I'm used to in the UK. Again, I mean, you don't have to go on like distances that are as long as this usually a four hour journey but even then you've got a little dining area on just your average train in the US which I assume in terms of travelling on trains in the US this is considered quite a short journey in the grand scheme of things so we got coffee, tea, a muffin and granola and yoghurt and that was all $14 Damn.
Oh, they're in the, suddenly in the snow. Oh. Route 128, just outside of Boston. <laughs> Loads of snow around here. What a change. You got your wish. Devin and Kerry are my cousins that grew up in South Africa but moved to the US over a decade ago. They've been raising their families here in Westwood, Boston, and we're so excited to finally see where they've been living and what life is like for them. Kerry is here at the station to fetch us. And she's fetching us in a Tesla, which Clary's kind of excited about. Wow. Fancy. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I'm a little bit What's late. Your... No, you're not. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, how do you, what do you? You press it, you press it like this, and then pull it right Ooh, there. thank you. <laughs> it's so good to have you yeah. Oh my gosh, finally. Kerry took us on a tour of the town and the suburb that they live in, which is very different to South Africa, with no walls for security or privacy from your neighbors. The homes out here are on massive pieces of land and are massive. apparently very home was huge expensive oh you got the typical okay these homes are flipping massive what am i seeing this has got to be like a millionaire's house right i mean it definitely is unless it's like a a hotel or something i don't know i don't think it is though jesus uh, <laughs> smart <laughs> it gets all icy <laughs> First moments walking in icy well, snow. Technically, I've seen snow like this before. <laughs> we had a quick tour of. It snows in Lesotho, unless I guess maybe in the mountains. What? Lesotho? Isn't that in. That's within South Africa, isn't it? How is there snow there? I guess it is just the mountains. I don't know that. Carries beautiful home and a cup of tea before heading out for lunch. Boston. In Boston. We're in Boston. <laughs> Outskirts of Boston. Apparently we don't have to wear our masks here. Because <laughs> it's Dedham, apparently there's no mask mandate. <laughs> They're sort of just going to carry on with it. It's part of my uh, <laughs> identity now. Yeah. We are going to Carver, which is Mediterranean style food. A bit on the pricey side, but very yum. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Do we get a free drink? Yeah. <laughs> They're so friendly in this place. That's pretty cool. After lunch, we headed to Devon's house where we would be staying in an American basement, something us South Africans are not used to at all. Ooh. Ooh. The just swing in the basement. <laughs> It's a massive basement, Jesus. It's a basement easy. house. It's a basement oh, house. Um, Whoa. Awesome. Couch, even lifts up. Kushti. A good morning from a bright and sunny but extremely cold Westwood, Boston, Massachusetts. Not sure exactly if it calls Boston, but it's about 20 minutes outside of Boston. Today we've got a really cool day planned. Starting off with a nice American style brunch. Carrie's got a nice big jacket on. And a beanie. Let's go. This is Devin, my other cousin. Even after 10 plus years, he is still very South African. He listens to Ama piano music, has frequent bras, makes biltong, and clearly can't feel the cold. You don't get more South African than that. Bro's just chilling in his shirt and shorts and what looks like pretty much close to minus temperature. Negative. I've never been so close before. It's one way or the other. So you don't really need masks here, it's so bizarre. So our cousin has brought us to a place called the Toast Office Westwood Diner for a 
typical all-American breakfast. So Maybe there's something you see out of the movie. Decadent uh, pancake stacks and French oh. toast stuffed with strawberry and chocolate. Uh, all sorts of decadent breakfasts. I really want tater tarts. But I don't think they have them here, but I think we'll try and get some tater tots. Oh, I'm yep. sorry, Thank you. This is a lot of food, eh? This is a lot of food. It's so much food. So this is like a standard, I think it's like an Irish breakfast they offer here. We've got some toast, bacon, sausages, potatoes, and two eggs and some beans. We've got a stack of three awesome pancakes and then a Nutella. Look Black underneath pudding. there. Ah, That's awesome. very Ameri Engli English. Is it? Yeah. yeah Come yeah. on. Yeah, this area is called New England, so there's a lot of Irish and Old English influence in this area in terms of the food. It's pretty cool to see. I wasn't expecting to see black pudding in a video to do with the US, though, that's for sure. This stack of French toast with Nutella. Wow. White pudding, I think. What is that made from then? The what does it taste like? It's like a veggie patty. Is this it, yeah? Time to try the black one. This is very British, isn't it? I think so. Black pudding. Go on, you got it. <laughs> That's yummy, but it's not like got so much flavour. This looks oh, unreal. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, what's inside there? Isn't that insane? <laughs> That's lavish. <laughs> For a laugh. A French a laugh toast is me. one of the most amazing things I've eaten. Nutella and mascarpone. Oh, it's mascarpone. Two. Oh, wow. That sounds I think, amazing. I think that's definitely the specialty here. It was very, very good. I'm full. So full. Yeah. yeah, the breakfast was incredibly good. Highly recommend coming out if you are ever in this neck of the woods. Matthew's full of his too? Yeah, but we got a whole day ahead of us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was just awesome. Exactly what I was expecting. It was so good. Guys, please, I'm so... Seems like really good prices as well. For all that food, it was $73 and drinks as well. Uh, cool. And wait, was that including the... the service tax? Um, coffee, $8. Oh, the orange juice was 40 Oh no, it was... Fr oh. They got loads, they got loads. Yeah, that's a really good price. Fair enough. It was so good. Guys, please, I'm so full. <laughs> this was so much food, it's it was so yummy. Definitely a lot more food than we usually eat. <laughs> We're cars on I just clocked, was this a snowplow on someone's car? I wonder if this is someone like working for this or if this is just someone who's just fixed their car to have this just because they live in a region obviously there's a lot of snow. <laughs> Either one, that's pretty cool. That's that's a very American thing to see. Big roads. a little bit of a test drive in the Tesla, feeling the power, it's incredible, <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, max 75, and then the blue line has been it's got a lane keep assist, so it'll... <laughs> Being in a Tesla is like floating, isn't it? I remember, I mean, I've gone in a Tesla a few times because taxis here, a few taxi drivers have, te have Teslas, and when you're in one, man, you just feel like you're floating, it's, it's unreal. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what is pretty cool. Going on now. This is just, this is just a little Easter egg from Elon Musk. Oh. Random, but it's fun. I see the steering. Yeah, the steering is on. 
this so is this car is currently driving itself. It is freezing. <sighs> we are just in uh, Boston right now at the seaport, I think. Very nice fancy area behind us with awesome apartments and fancy restaurants and the airport right behind us. It is very cold but it's cool to just come and walk. The snow's a little icy. I think it's probably been on the ground for a few days already so it's getting icy but it's still a very cool experience for us because we are not used to this kind of snow. But it is like minus two degrees Celsius. So chilly. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Oh. <laughs> it's so slow. Nice. This is a bougie little area. After exploring the downtown business district, we grabbed a coffee and headed to Boston College for a true American experience. Oh, damn. Wait, there's college hockey? I didn't know that like, hockey was a college sport as well. Oh, wow. I've never really seen someone's experience going to a, a hockey game either, but this must be so fun to go to. They got a decent crowd for them as well. So is it the same, like with college hockey, is it the same as how it would work with college football or college basketball? They'll end up get. I guess all US sports are the same in terms of the drafting system, right? So they all have like their drafting systems at the end of the year, every year with the best players going to the best teams or the worst teams and then the, like them being drafted pretty much. I guess all four like major US sports have the drafting system, right? I think so anyway, but... Damn, I didn't know that was college hockey, but it makes sense, I guess, with the obsession with America, Americans and college sports. But here we go. We've got a hole within the band for them as well. Most South Africans that move abroad move for two main reasons, more opportunities and safety. Most of us don't want to move like this and split up our families, but it's just the reality of how things are. It is bittersweet, but we're glad to see them all healthy and happy here in the United States. Join us in the next video. We'll there be- There we go. This is a cool little look. I enjoyed this a lot, to be fair. Like this just it was like a, a nice little like a, a nice warming video just to see like of a family living in the US. I mean, you don't really see much of the family to be fair, but it's a nice house. They're obviously, I feel like they're quite well off. These are definitely a well off family. I mean, you got a Tesla. I'm judging, I'm judging it by this, all right? You got a Tesla, their house. I mean, their basement was big. We didn't really see their house, but their basement was bigger than most people's homes in the UK. Um, no, but seriously, yeah, it was a nice video, nice video to see this sort of stuff, but um. And yeah, the food flipping out. The pricing looked good. The food looked unreal. That French toast with, I guess, chocolate spread and mascarpone, or I don't, I don't know how to say. It. I think it's mascarpone. Mascarpone. I mean, that, I've had that cheese with sweet stuff before, and it is unreal. So I'm imagining that would be just sensational tweet. Um, but um, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction, and let me know your thoughts on this. And until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.